have a 30 second tip. I haven't done a video in a while, but while I'm doing this project, I thought I would just film it. I have a 30 second tip. I'm going to try to film it in less than two minutes uh, to save you guys some time. Some of you who may, who may be doing something similar. So um, siding this run in shed with this rough cut cypress, if you're doing horizontal or vertical siding, uh, any kind of a project where you have multiple cuts, this trick would work. Um, you'll notice I nailed all these up and then these will go on top, right? I stage it ahead of time. That's really important to stage it ahead of time. Um, that workshop right there, I was able to side by myself in less than two days. And that's with a nail gun. If you're gonna screw um, boards like this, and I did in some places, it's gonna take you a little longer. Uh, so, here's the trick. The first thing I do is I build a 90 degree block right here. And I just screw two 2x4s two together and I leave a little room on either side of the first board. The, the really important thing to remember here is that everything needs to be plumb and square on your building so that this will work. This first board is the only board I have to measure for the entire run and shed. It's all the same height. On a building like this, you, you'll have areas where you've cut a board and you'll do a bunch and then you'll have to cut another board for another area where you have a different measurement. But you know, that board, I might have had 10 different measurements that I had to use and, and 10 times I had to use the tape and that was it. Um, so I cut the board. Then I screw this 90 underneath, there's screws under here to this board. All right, yeah, the screws are right under here. Then I take this board and I screw it down to my saw horses so that when I take my lumber that I'm gonna cut, I slide it up against the 90, push it up against the edge of the first cut board. I can put another one on the other side. And I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to pull out a tape. The only thing I have to do now is grab my saw and cut and you can do it a couple different ways. You could use a square, all right? And I recommend it. Just put your square up to the end of that, of that template board and then you'll make a mark. Um, that way you won't start drifting with your saw blade and start cutting this off and get it small, a little bit at a time and make it smaller and smaller. Um, but if you only have a few to do, you can eye it up. I just, that's why I've been doing it. I'm just gonna eye it up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Show you how I do it and how fast it is. Alright, so now I've got this board also acts as a workbench. I take these two and then bring them over and stack them up. Come back, cut more, stack them up. I stack the whole thing and then go back and nail. So cut, you measure. Build your template, cut, stack, nail. Less than two hours for that. You can turn around and show them that run-in shed. Um, that's about how long that, and that's working by myself. If I had somebody over there, if I was cutting, and I had somebody bringing boards over and had somebody else nailing, we could probably do it in an hour. Um, <clears throat> on things like the gable, you do the same thing. You can make a template with your angle, and then you cut your longest one first. And then you can take your boards, cut your angles in all of them, and then you just slide it off your template whatever distance you need to go. I think on that was like five and three quarters of an inch. Each, the, the, you know, each board got five and three quarters of an inch shorter as it went down um, the roof span. So you would just slide it off five and three quarters, cut it, five and three quarters, cut it. And, just, and it makes it a lot easier. You can do a whole bunch of boards really fast. So I don't know, hope that helps. Uh, incidentally that, we did the siding on this the house I built and that's a, that's a horizontal party board and we did that in uh, three days it took us to side that I had a couple guys and um, we were able to do the same technique with templates and uh, and jigs in about three days to do that so all right hope it helps